In this video, I'm going to talk about the ASPath attributes. I talked about uh, ASPath attributes in the past, but uh, that was influencing that was uh, influencing the inbounds coming into the ISPs uh, network. Um, in this video, we're gonna influence the inbound traffic coming into the enterprise network. So, um, for example, we're trying to configure CE1 here, and we're trying to uh, influence the inbound uh, traffic coming into our network. Let's say that we want ISP to choose, we want ISP1 to choose this link here. Uh, via AS2 to get to uh, AS3. So let's say, let's use this uh, network here, 172.16.65.2. Um, this should be slash 24. So let's say that uh, for ISP1 to get to this network here, we want it to choose this network, I mean this link. Uh, via ISP2 or via AS2. So I, I assume that uh, ISP1 is choosing this link here because it's just one path away from, it's just one path away, this AS3. So let's uh, verify or let's check its BGP routing table. So show ISP1 BGP. So as expected, uh, it's choosing the link, uh, this link here, this serial link, as you can see here, uh, 172.16.20.2, uh, that more than sign, symbol meaning that it's choosing that uh, link. So we're going to configure C1 so that ISP1 uh, we'll choose this link here. So let's go ahead and I actually prepared the uh, configuration here. So basically, you just have to create a route map, and I named uh, the route map longer dash as dash as path permit 10 and uh, this is how you prepare the AS path. So AS path prepare. This is the command, and uh, basically I use my local AS. So 333, three, three, and I apply that route map to uh, the neighbor. This is the neighbor here. 172.16.20.1. So here, route map, and I'm calling that route map longer AS path, and I apply that route map outbound, and I clear the IP the BGP session. So let's just uh, copy paste this command. So that's done. And also this. Okay, and we clear the IP BGP session or the BGP session star. So meaning that it's not gonna tear down the all the BGP uh, sessions. So just to verify that that it didn't tear down the BGP sessions, let's do a show IP BGP summary. So here. Yeah. So let's go back to ISP1 and check how, how which path it is choosing to get to this net network here. Excuse me. So show IP BGP. 
So now it's using this link here as expected uh, 192.68.1. I mean, that's six dot one to get to get to this network, <clears throat> and that is indicated by the with that symbol. And that's because uh, to get to that network, it's the ES path is shorter compared to this. Uh, to this path here or to this next up uh, because it's it has now it now has um, longer AS path compared to this path here but before uh, it was choosing this path here because this path has a uh, shorter AS path but this one has a longer AS path so so that's it we have now uh, successfully um, influenced the inbound traffic coming into our network so that's it in this video thanks for watching